Hello, welcome to our next tutorial of Quick Surface. In this tutorial we will be talking about how to rotate an object. If you have the latest version, you can use our example files that you can find in Help, Example Files, and I'm going to load this Y shape holder. This is just a simple mesh, and by default, if you want to rotate the object on the screen, you can use the middle mouse button, just press the middle mouse button and freely rotate, or you can use the right mouse button also to rotate. Now, when you rotate the object, I'm going to explain how it works. You can see a small indicator here that shows you what we call a pivot point. A pivot point is a point which is calculated and the object is rotated around this point. If I just zoom in, for example, here with the mouse wheel, and if I try to rotate, you see that it changes its position. For example, here it will be at this place. How this point is calculated, it's based on what is visible on the screen and only the visible points, it calculates the extent and gets the center of this extent. So you see it changed in somewhere here. For some people it's quite useful if they want to rotate around a specific point, for example here. What you need to do is just hold the control key, hold the control key and press the right mouse button and then rotate. So you can see now that the software automatically picks a point from the object and it rotates around this point. To experiment I'm going to pick a point here and you can see that the rotation is different. This is very flexible for some people that like this way of rotating. So you need to hold the control key. If you click somewhere out of the object, again the pivot point is calculated based on the visible area. In this way you can control your navigation. For these people that really like always to use this pick point and do not want to use this control key always, what you can do is just go to settings, options, and then you go to navigation tab. Here you can see an option which is called always pick a pivot point for rotation. I'll just enable this and press OK. Now whenever I try to rotate, regardless if it's a middle mouse button or right mouse button, the software will pick a point from the object if possible, if the object is under my mouse. For example, here it's still the point is somewhere in space, but if I pick on the mesh, it always will rotate around this point. This is quite handy, so you can have a better control on your navigation. We put this optional because there are different people that like to use it in a different way. So this is about the pivot point and you can control from the settings. Now, let's talk about how do you actually rotate the object. If you look at the screen, imagine that there is an axis here, which is called the x-axis of the viewport and the y-axis, which is here. So if I move the mouse left and right, you can see that it rotates virtually around this axis here, which is we call the z-axis. If I move up and down, it rotates around this axis. So this is how you rotate. If I leave my mouse, it will just uh, keep rotating relative to these two axes. In this way, this is the default, you can rotate um, the way you want. But there are some people which are more into buildings or they want the ground um, to be of, um, presenting your world. So let's turn the coordinate system on. Let's imagine that this is a table here. You know, so this is my uh, base plane x, y, but um, I think that the object lies on this table. Now I can just flip the whole table around. But what I want to do is a more natural way of um, navigating this. What I can do, go to settings, options, and under the navigation tab, there is an option which is called rotate relative to the world z axis. What this means is that if I move left or right, it rotates around the z-axis, which is perpendicular to my plate. Even if I just tilt this object, again, if I just rotate left and right, it still will rotate around this axis. 
So this is slightly different, but in some cases may give you a different feeling of how you rotate the object. It's really a, a user preferences and I'm going back again to show you. You can control these two options from the settings options and then you have these two options here which is whether to pick a pivot point or how do you want to rotate the object into your into quick surface. I personally like the default one but it's a personal choice how you want to navigate and which is the most natural way for you to do this. I hope this is useful. Thank you for watching.